piece. Oh my gosh. I thought she was gonna crawl on top of me. All right guys, my name is Thomas Passy, and today I'm gonna be cleaning some of my tarantula's enclosures. In specific, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of spot cleaning and I'm gonna be removing their molts. So I've gathered a bunch of my tarantulas that have molts lying around and now I'm gonna go in and take out every single piece of their molt and I'm gonna separate it in a container that I have right over here. And uh, for some of them, I'm just gonna use my regular tongs but I also have this giant pair of tongs that I use for some tarantulas that might need it. Like sometimes uh, there's some tarantulas that have a lot of venom and I don't want to get too close with this pair of tongs. So I use the really big pair and uh, that's how I, I take out their molts. It just makes it a lot easier. So yeah, let's get started with the first one right here. This is my salmon pink bird eater tarantula. And uh, actually, if you watched yesterday's video, uh, I talked about how I want to take out this guy's molt. So, I'm going to do that right now. I'm just going to go ahead and place it over here. I see a little piece of a leg right here. And also, his carapace. Uh-oh, this guy's a little bit angry. Alright, so his carapace is right here. And I'm just going to throw it down there. I don't want to mess with this guy too much right now because he does look angry. He's not too happy to see me. Uh, so if you guys don't know what tarantula molts are, they are actually just like shed pieces of a tarantula. Uh, it's their exoskeleton that they shed and they do this in order to grow. Uh, it's like a snake shedding except it's more complicated than that because you can actually see their fangs and everything. It's really crazy. Uh, but right now we're done with this spider and we'll move on to another one. If you watched yesterday's video, this is the tarantula that actually escaped. This is my Mexican fire leg tarantula. And inside of its little hide right there, you can see it's molt. And uh, there's a little piece of its leg right there. And it's carapace, it's still in the water dish. And uh, actually some moss fell inside of the water dish and sucked out all of the water. So I'm gonna have to replace all of that. And uh, yeah, I'll start doing that right now. Uh, since this tarantula is a little bit unpredictable, I'm going to be using my big pair of tongs. So the first thing I'll be removing is the carapace. I'm going to try not to crush it. So I'll place that in there. I'll take out this little leg. Oops, I just broke into two little pieces. But that's no problem. Let's see if I can get that. Okay, so now all that's left is the molt that's inside of the cave. So I'll go ahead and take that out right now. Hopefully it comes out in one piece. Oh, there's still a little piece in there, but that's okay. It's full of dirt. I don't like that, but it's okay. Let's see. All right. That should be pretty much it. Uh, now I'm gonna take out the water bowl. And I definitely don't wanna stick my fingers in there right now because this tarantula, I don't trust it at all. Let's go ahead and take that out. Now I'm gonna clean this and replace the water. All right, so the water dish is now clean. And for those of you who like your water ASMR, here it is. All right, there we go. We're done with this tarantula. So now let's move on to another one. All right guys, so right here we have my Texas brown tarantula. And as you can see, I just emptied out its water bowl. So I'll go ahead and fill that one up too. All right. And I already see a carapace right there. So I'll go ahead and remove that. Hopefully she doesn't come running out of the container. All right, so I got the carapace. I'll go ahead and move that. Uh, there's pieces of shed all over the place right now. So. I see a bunch of pieces right here. This one is like destroyed, but it's okay. I'll take out a piece of leg right here. Uh, I see another little piece over here. I could probably use my little tongs for this, but it's okay. Here is the abdomen. I could probably use that to tell if it's a male or a female, but I already know that this one is a female, so we're fine. I don't need that. Uh, one little piece of leg 
Oh, look, we have a fang. Okay. Let's take out that fang. Oh. I'm going to go ahead and place it over here on the side so we can get a better look of it. All right, guys, I'm not sure if you can really see it, but right there is the fang of the tarantula. The actual fang is right there. So if you guys can see it, there you go. Right over here, I actually found the other fang. So I'll go ahead and place that over there. I'll place the other pieces of leg over there as well. And yeah, I guess we're done with this tarantula. So now let's move on to the next one. All right, guys, right here is my P. Metallica, the Goody Sapphire Ornamental Tarantula. This is my favorite tarantula species of all time. I love blue tarantulas. They're my favorite. And uh, we actually have a molt from this guy, so I'm going to go ahead and remove it. The molt is right over here on the other side of its container. So I'm going to go ahead and take my big tweezers and try and take it out without crushing it. Okay. I still see one little leg piece in there. So I'm going to go ahead and take that one out. You can even see a little bit of its yellow coloration right there. Oh, it looks like we have one more piece and a carapace left. So I'll go ahead and take out the carapace. Maybe both at the same time. Yeah, there we go. All right, so now all the pieces are inside of this container and we can move on to the next tarantula. Right here is my beautiful green bottle blue tarantula. And as I said before, blue tarantulas are my favorite. Uh, so this is definitely one of my favorite species. And uh, this guy looks like he needs a little bit to eat. So maybe you guys will see another feeding video coming up soon. Uh, I'll definitely be feeding him because he molted recently. I was waiting for him uh, to grow back his fangs. Well, not grow back, but just strengthen because when tarantulas molt, their fangs get really weak, they're white, and uh, you have to wait for them to strengthen back uh, and turn black again so they are ready to eat. And uh, actually, I have to go in and fill up this guy's water bowl. There's a little bit of dirt in there, but it's okay. All right, we're done with that. Uh, I want to make sure not to overflow this too much because I don't want the substrate to get too wet. These guys like to be kept very dry uh, and I actually mentioned that in my last video. So if you guys want to learn a little bit more about tarantulas and their care, please check out my other videos. Uh, it's molt is actually right over there. So I'm going to go ahead and take my big tweezers and uh, take them out. So let's go ahead and take this out. Uh, green bottle blue tarantulas love to web so as you can see it's full of web uh, there's two little leg pieces right here so I'll take those out and finally I see an abdomen piece oh my gosh I thought she was gonna crawl on top of me all right <laughs> let's hope that does not happen again I just got really scared for a second this is why I did not add green bottle blue tarantulas to my list when I was making the tarantula uh, for beginners video. Uh, honestly, a beginner could probably keep this one because they're really easy to take care of, but their speed can be a bit scary at times. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this before he runs out uh, because I definitely don't wanna get bit. All right, let's move on to the next tarantula. All right guys, so right here is my biggest salmon pink bird eater tarantula. And this one actually molted and its molt is right over there. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my tweezers and put it inside with the other molts. All right, so the molt is right there. I'm gonna go ahead and grab it and I'm gonna place it in. Oops, I just dropped it. Let's pick it up and place it inside. Oh, he's already moving. Hopefully it doesn't crawl into my leg. And speaking of legs, here's a few. One, two, and three. All right, we're done with this one. And as you can see, there are a ton of molts in here, all different types of colors. And uh, yeah, I have one more tarantula to show you guys. And uh, after that, we're done. All right, guys, so right here is one of my Mexican fire leg tarantulas. And if you look in the back over there is one of its molts. So, I'm going to go ahead and collect the molt of this beautiful tarantula. And uh, for this, I'm going to use my big tweezers because I don't want to stick my hand anywhere near this tarantula. 
So let me go get it. All right, so this one should be pretty simple. I'll go ahead and pick it up and I'll take it right over here with all the other molds. And so, so far, I'll do a recap of everything we gathered today. Two Salmon Pink Bird Eater molds. I see one Mexican Fire Leg Malt and actually another one because we just got another one. So two Mexican Fire Leg Malts, P Metallica Malt, which is the Goody Sapphire Ornamental. And last but not least, the green bottle blue tarantula. All right, so here's one last look at all of the malts. You can really appreciate their colors right here. There is the fangs of my biggest tarantula. It's very interesting to see. There is the Mexican fire leg. I see a P Metallica leg. And yeah, that's pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was pretty fun to make, so you might see more of these in the future once my tarantulas keep molting. I want you guys to start discussions inside of my comments so you guys can ask questions and if you guys know the answer to the question please post it. Uh, try not to spread any misinformation. I will try to go through all the comments and read and uh, address any problems and maybe give my own insight to any of them. So that's all I have for you guys today and thanks for watching.